a time now where we're going to have question and answers. I mean, so much has happened right now. I'm expecting that we're going to have a few questions here. So let's open it up. Are there, does anyone have any questions that's on the call or online about any of the segments? Well, I was curious, is um, my presentation about the personalities, oh, was I off a little bit? Did I stretch it a little bit? So I'm just curious. No, I think, I think there was a lot of good information in that. It's a lot of good content here, Cheryl. And I think if people want to go back and watch the video, they're going to get even more out of it. They can take notes. They can, uh, they can actually start implementing it right away. That's the great thing about anything that we do. Uh, for those of you that are online with us that, that are all part of what we're doing today, you know, the great thing is you don't have to wait to implement any of these things. You can implement them right, right now, today, immediately and it will make a change, make a huge difference in your life and execution. Any other Cheryl, questions? I, Cheryl, I think on one of the things, maybe on just defining it, um, if you look at you know the golden triangle box, one, two, three, four, five, and six, the cornerstone of the 530 grid, if you look at box five, which is going to be implementing a strategic strike, then if you look at box 14, which is personality driven. And so as you get deeper into the levels in the 530 grid, you start to apply them at a much higher level, much higher dimension, higher way of thinking. And so you might have literally four strategic strikes. So you might have you know, one for the analytic, one for the driver, one for the expressive and one for the the amiable. And so it's a strategic strike, but it's based on personality. So what you're doing is you're blending the different 30 boxes, bringing them all together in a very systematic way. Now, if we don't have one strategic strike, probably not the best idea to develop, um, you know, four of them or five of them. And so the most effective program I've seen in, in demoing this and really showing this is if you go to uh, dnaforsuccess.com, it's dnaforsuccess.com, and then you go down to the bottom and click on the feet. And so this actually breaks it down into, takes the three steps and moves it into seven. And then you can click on every one of the steps and so it goes from examination to strategy session. And then there's actually each of the four personalities. So each of the four personalities will move from one step to the next step in a very specific way. And so when somebody goes to any one of these, they're going to naturally go towards the shape or the photo even of the person that's, that the personality is and they'll click on that. So if they're an expressive, they'll probably click on Fitz's, you know, his story here. And when he shares his story, he shares it in an expressive manner. And that will move people from step one to step two to step three. So it's really, Cheryl, almost cloning your sales force that can take decades in learning how to do this. And the system can do that you know, on your behalf, if that makes sense. It does. Thank you. You're welcome. I have, Good. Any I have, other questions? Oh, I do. So in using the personalities to be able to convert prospects faster, when you grow, go through your mark, your, the GT, the first three areas, marketing, pre-sales, and sales, to be able to convert your prospects faster and more efficient, is there a personality that should be associated with each department? to help move that flow and help be more efficient and be able to convert them faster? Great question. The most efficient way to move things through in the most efficient and, fa and fastest and most effective is actually it's taking all four personalities. So what's interesting is the amiable and the analytic, which you'd think, well, they're not going to be moving fast and moving people forward. Um, and there's some truth to that. But 
with other analytic and amiables, so they it seems like the like the amiable will spend more time with somebody, and it seems like they're not going to convert it. But because they have a higher relationship, a better relationship, they'll convert a lead faster than a level one, three, and four. The analytics going to take a lot more time in the pre-sales. Both the amiable and the analytic will spend more time in the pre-sales, which seems to slow it down, but will actually speed it up. So in answer to your question, it's blending all four of these together. Um, as Rosanna said, like a symphony, that's where you're going to get your greatest speed in converting prospects to, uh, to clients much, much faster, Nicole. Okay, so then, so then just, I'm analytics, so I'm getting a little deeper. But to map it out, if we were to say, you know, to start out with marketing, would it make sense for them to have a nice piece of all four of the personalities? Pre-sales would probably be the analytic, the amiable, and then the sale would be like a driver expressive? No. Um, the, you're going to need to have all four personalities in marketing all four personalities in pre-sales and all four personalities in the sale and in servicing and in client for life. So you need to have all four of them. You can't just have, like, you can't just have, because in marketing, you have to appeal to all four personalities. You can't just appeal to one. So if you have an expressive in marketing, that'll be, cool, exciting, creative, and draw people in, but it'll probably draw more expressives in. So you need to blend all of them. It's not okay. a linear process, and it's not and it's not easy. I mean, it's why the more you know about the boss system and the blending of the three, the more you know, the more you know you don't know, which is why you really want to get individuals <laughs> Like put together a success circle of 12, you know, be coached by somebody that's certified in the action vision system and being able to go through and understand it. This stuff, individuals invest decades and thousands of hours in really perfecting this, and you want to work with those types of individuals. Okay. Excellent. Are there any other call? Uh, any questions? We have time for maybe one or two more questions. I have a question for Mark. Um, okay, so I've been through a couple of these seminars, and maybe other people online have been to these seminars. And they say I've heard all this before. What do you suggest to these people that have said that or even thought that in their mind? Yeah, um, read the clear communication white paper. So go to www.dna4life-laws and then go to cool free stuff and white paper library and then look for the clear communication right here, white paper, and then read it because they're not listening while well, Rosanna. And so I've spent three decades studying this stuff. I've been through the four years that we've been through this. Um, I've listened to this, written extensively on it, taught, spoken all around the world. And every time I go through this, I hear something different. So if people are saying, I've heard this all before, I understand this, they're not very good students. And so... Okay. You're saying also that maybe they've heard it all before, but have they actually done it? Well, they haven't heard it. They're just not good listeners. Like they think they've, they, I've heard all this before, and it's like, yeah, no, no, you haven't heard it before. They need to learn to be better listeners. They need to be humble. They need to understand that they're missing key components, key details that's holding them back. Uh, if you go to thanks. DNA for success, uh, I'm sorry, DNA for laws, life dash laws dot com forward slash SC12, and then becoming an amazing member. There are five white papers, and then an ebook on how to be the best student in the world. 
I believe if a team of people will read those four white papers, and they're three to five pages long, and then that ebook on how to be the best student in the world, which is I think 50, roughly 50 pages, if they go through and read that those five white papers and that ebook, I believe that not only will all of their minds think differently, but I believe they'll come into alignment and they will accomplish 100,000 times more together than what they ever could on their own because they'll learn to think, have the ability to think like other people think and appreciate the differences in how we all tend to think and bring those together for our mutual benefit. Cool, thank you. Yep. Excellent. Mark, thank you so much for that. It's, it's wonderful. Well, our time is just about up, but I want to make sure that uh, everybody understands that next month is going to be, if you thought this month was amazing, and it was amazing, and it continues to be amazing, next month is going to be even better, I know, right? I mean, how is that possible? It is possible. Why? Because we together are accomplishing far more than we ever could on our own. We're doing it together. We're doing it in the same time. We're not taking any more time, but we're multiplying our time. And that's absolutely critical that each and every one of us get that and can execute on that. 